Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I do want to apologize for missing a video last Saturday. I just simply ran out of steam. But I'm back with another, uh, well, actually start of um, some new series, I guess. We are going to be spring cleaning my main floor we have kind of finished some parts of the upstairs we have already organized the basement but now i'm going to start with my main floor starting at the foyer and then we're going to work our way back into the house I'm starting this a tad bit earlier because I want to get some of this stuff organized and done. We are going to be having some, we're supposed to be having some work done on our house, but not sure of the timeline and all this stuff. And I, originally I was like, oh, I'm just going to wait and not do it, but uh, then decided, well, I should be doing getting some house cleaned just so that way um, it's not all piled up on me at once when the um, when I'm gonna have to start um, moving stuff out of the house and things like that for the reno. So for this spring cleaning video, we are starting in the front foyer and we're going to deep clean it, meaning wash all the baseboards, walls, windows on the inside, not outside, because currently it is minus 22 outside, so we won't be going outside yet. I think I'm probably going to have a separate video on how to clean the windows how i clean the windows on the outside but and then we're going to also organize the little bombay chest where we keep our mittens and hats and things like that and then also the coat closet so lots of organizing and deep cleaning motivation here for you so i hope you enjoy it as you saw, I am using Lysol all-purpose cleaner to wash the walls and to wash all the surfaces but the floor. And I mix it with some warm, well, pretty much hot water. And this is in an orange scent, so it gives the whole room a fresh, clean scent. I have this half wall between the living room and the foyer and it seems to end up being some dumping ground for a lot of stuff including my husband's mittens that he used or gloves that he used to add salt to our outside. We do use uh, pet safe salt but it just left this huge stain and I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to come off but it came right off. So I took everything off of it because I'm going to go through that little basket that's supposed to be just a key holder and a couple things, but it always ends up, like I said, being a dumping zone for many other things. So I'm, I took it off, I'm going to organize it, but uh, first I'm going to clean, like I said, the, the ledge and I'm going to also wipe down these pillars. This one doesn't end up getting too, too messy, but the other one, does get quite messy because one of the dogs that I have is part Newfie and he does drool not probably as much as the the full Newfie would but he does drool a little bit and I feel there's always drool on these pillars I am planning on dressing these up um, with some maybe barn board when we are doing some renos because I think um, the pillars are not in anymore <laughs> so i just wanted to update them a little bit and i'm going to be updating the curtains so i have not placed them if you watch my decorate with me videos i have not added curtains because i'm just going to leave them off until the reno is done i am really enjoying all the brightness without them I am using a Norwax mold and mildew spray. I have used this all over the years for a few years now and I absolutely love it. It has literally no odor and it does such a good job. So I just spray in the corner of the windows because it does get so cold outside and it creates a almost like a um, water condensation um, because of the coldness outside and the warmth inside on the corner of the windows and uh, over time it does creates a little bit of a I wouldn't even say it was a 
mold and mildew but it is a little black um, stuff all in the corners and this mold and mildew remover works really well for that and like I said has no order so I spray it on and then I leave it while I do other things and then go back to it and just wipe it off and it comes right off let me know if you would like to see like a maybe like a full tutorial on how I do this uh, how I clean the little edges in the in the window to get them nice and clean I 100% can do this for you guys if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing holding my head high even if the sky is falling for the glass, I use a method window cleaner. I've used this for several years as well, and I really like, like it. I think it works just as well as Windex does without all the heavy smells. I'm all about uh, the smells. I cannot handle some of the cleaning um, uh, cleaning uh, supplies, the, the smell that they have. I think the Lysol all-purpose cleaner is probably the extent of the smell i can't even do pine sole but i can do lysol it's weird it's i think it's just me but um and i don't mind using lysol on the walls however i won't use it on the floor because um the dog daycare before and now even the dogs they chances of them licking a wall are slim to none but they almost always lick something off the floor so here I am cleaning out that basket the, like I said it just ended up having so many things in there I also needed to um, replace a little ring that's holding my pooper scoopering bag over on my uh, leash so you'll see me doing that I'm just using a twist tie to add it I did step on it and I broke the ring so I need to replace it so I thought well the little twist tie will work perfect for that and then when I put everything back into the basket, it will pretty much just have um, the little Norwax lint cleaner, cleaning glove, some uh, uh, sanitizer, and keys and glasses, and that's it. And I'm hoping I can keep it that way for a little bit. World on fire. You said my If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. My name is Sonia, and over on this channel, I share lots of cleaning motivation, organizing motivation, as well as decorate with me. So, if this is something that you like to watch, make sure you hit that subscribe button and a notification bell. And also, leave me down a comment if you guys are enjoying these type of videos. It just lets me know that you are. Whether you are returning or a new, new uh, viewer, a um, little feedback down in the comments would be very much appreciated. So now I had moved on to organizing these drawers that are forever messy. Um, I am just going through and I've done where I've decided to do um, one drawer for my husband and I and one drawer for my kids but this time around i thought i would um, 
organize them one drawer for my son and my husband and the next drawer for my daughter and I since both of my kids are older teenagers and we tend to share a lot of hats and mitts and things like that for especially the uh, stuff that we wear out for dog walking because it's obviously different than the stuff that we wear to the store and then we also have a lot of um, items for snowboarding and just winter sports um, which is also different than from what you would wear every single day but we te I tend to share it with my daughter and my husband share his stuff with my son so that's how I decided to organize these drawers and the bottom drawer holds some things for outdoor sports um, and then some sun hats and just things like that and I ended up adding some of our really thick thick uh, mittens and gloves in that drawer just because they take up so much room and I did not have enough room in the two drawers. Once the foyer was done, I moved on to this extremely messy closet. This has gotten totally out of control. And obviously the system that I had in place wasn't really working because if it was, it would have not gotten this messy. It's just I've uh, had ended up purchasing a couple boxes of N95 masks because my kids need them for work and the ones that they provide them at work um, were hurting their faces and they like the ones from Costco so I had a couple boxes of those then I also had a couple boxes uh, from just a regular reusable uh, the um, disposable ones and then I also had our cloth ones so we still have to wear them everywhere the kids have to wear them to school uh, the stores, work, all the places. So I need to have backups in case if our cloth ones are dirty. What happens often with our cloth ones is that, um, especially with my kids, they don't put them, they'll, they'll just leave them on that Bombay chest and Duke can reach them and he ends up taking them and slobbering all over them. And then I have to wash them and sometimes I have to wash all of them. So I needed to figure out a way how to organize them in a bin. Uh, so they're not just throwing up there and being dumped out. I think kind of defeats the purpose to have masks out of their bags. Um, kind of harboring all the germs that are up in the air into the masks. I don't know. That's just me. So I needed to figure out how to organize them. And then I also needed to just go through all these bins that gotten so messy.
once I was done I ended up uh, putting them back in place and I did not realize that my camera had died at this point so you only see me adding a couple items there but at the end of the video I will give you a little organized tour of where everything is and how I organized it. Now I had moved on to the bottom of the closet, again extremely messy, I can't believe it has gotten this out of control. So I took everything out, um, sorted the shoes, took the stuff that needed to go upstairs, um, took the shelf out, ended up vacuuming it and washing the baseboards and the floor in there. So here are the shoes that I'm going to be donating as well as taking them upstairs into my closet upstairs because they were either not for the right season or uh, I wasn't wearing them. Well, they weren't for right season and that's why I wasn't wearing them. So I'm going to tidy up this uh, mess that's left over from uh, uh, decluttering the closet and then I'm going to show you uh, all the things that are no longer going back in any of these places so over here in this box i have all of the stuff that needs to go to my mother-in-law's those are all her plates and bowls that you know kids bring food from her house or she brings food for us and uh, the plates don't end up going back and this is going to my sisters there's a stool and some snowman supplies and then that little bag has all the donation stuff and now I'm going to uh, wipe all the everything down and I'm going to vacuum it as well as wash the floor. I'm not doing my um, powder room just because it's too complicated to get the camera in there for you to actually see what I'm doing. So I will do that on my own kind of thing. And the mudroom is going to get a full makeover. So I've decided I'm really not even going to go in there and do anything because I can shut the door.
So it's all done and while I was waiting for the floor to dry and put everything back, these guys decided to rest up so I just let them rest before I put the uh, carpet back and the bench as well as that little basket. So over here on the Bombay chest, I just ha still have that box. I just have to go next door and take it to my mother-in-law's. She wasn't home at the time. And just to show you this drawer, how nicely everything looks. I hope it stays this way. Usually I do my spring cleaning a little bit later once we are all done wearing mittens and all that. So once I clean that up, it kind of stays that way. But like I said, I'm doing this a little bit earlier this year. So that way I'll probably have to redo it again, but that's okay. So here is my absolutely amazingly clean closet for now and i love the way everything is i added labels so that way everyone knows what, what where things are and where things need to go um, the bottom is nicely sorted i did get rid of quite a bit of shoes to be, go put in our closets upstairs and i think i'm just donating a few not too many and um so let me kind of give you a little tour of the top shelf so at the back in the yellow bin i have slippers for all the company that needs to wear slippers the blue bin contains our blankets box spray sunscreen then i have dog grooming stuff then i have the masks pooping bags um, then i have other people's things this is where i place put plates and things that don't belong to me that need to be distributed to other people. Then I have biodegradable little bags as well as a shoe spray, extra cleaning supplies, a first aid kit, and then a large antibacterial, uh, antibacterial uh, jug. Well, I hope you had enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you the motivation that you needed to get your stuff done. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.